Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the video series on a state machine using Boost State Chart Library. This is part 1 and in this particular video we will look into life cycle of a state and how to create multiple and custom event handlers. So let's go ahead and see the code. So let's start with life cycle of a state. In the previous example in part 0 we have created a person state machine with a happy state and sad state. We know that when we trigger an event called lost money, the person state machine moves from happy state to sad state. But the thing which we need to remember is that the state is actually destroyed and a new state is created. Let's create a destructor in both happy state and sad state and see what happens. So I am creating a destructor in happy state. Uh, let's say destructor and also in the sad state. A destructor and I'll say it's a destructor let me go ahead and run the program so when I run the same program you can see that uh, when we transfer from uh, happy state to sad state the happy state is actually destroyed and a new instance of sad state is created now when we move back from sad state to happy state because you got some money the sad state is destroyed and happy state is created again. So this is the life cycle of a state in a boost state chart library. Whenever we migrate from one state to another state, the state is destroyed. And when we come back to the same state, a new instance of the state is created once again. So there will be no persistence of variables, data as far as the states are concerned if you need a persistent data you need to find some other way states are not meant to carry persistent data across migration so this is all about life cycle of the state where a state is constructed when the state machine enters into the state and it gets destructed when the state machine goes out of the state now let's talk about how to handle multiple events in a state so if I am in a happy state, uh, as of now I am getting an event called lost money and for which I move back to sad state. But in reality, we may get multiple events in a state like we can get more money in the same state and we should be even more happier. So how to handle those things? Let me just get rid of this destructor so that uh, there is a reduced print. And I create one more state called, uh, let's say, more happy state CITP constructor in more happy state okay uh, let me not do any transition over here so what I want is that if I'm in a happy state if I lost some money I'll go to sad state but in the happy state if I get some money I'll be in a more happy state. So we cannot do something like copy paste and just change the event like got money. We have to use something called MPL. So we'll create a name space MPL as boost MPL. And we will put this multiple list into the happy state. So I'll say type def MPL list and this will be called reactions let me get rid of this and here i will say the same thing transition for lost money i'll go to sad state comma again i'll have another transition if i got some money I'll go to let's say more happy state okay so this is my code as of now I'll have to do a forward declaration of my happy state too because it is defined below where I'm using it okay now let me go ahead and run the code so as of now you can say that first it is in happy state I trigger lost money it goes to sad state I trigger got money it goes to happy state once again so if I am not triggering this event lost money I am just triggering the event got money so I am in a happy state I am getting an event called got money let's see what happens now I am in a more happy state 
So this is how you can handle multiple uh, transition events in a state. So here if I am getting lost money event, I will be in a sad state. If I am getting got money uh, in the event in this particular state, I will be in a more happy state. And you can have multiple comma separated list in this particular case. And the same is true for all the state. If you are having only one transition, you can use this. If you are having multiple transition, which you will be having in any real estate machine, you have to use MPL list. So that's the way we handle multiple events in a state. Now let's talk about custom event handlers. Many a times when we receive an event within a state, we would like to perform some actions before moving to the next state. And custom event handlers helps us in doing that. And let's see how we can create custom event handlers. So for normal uh, event transition, we used to say type def sc transition uh, the event and the destination state as reactions. So in case of custom event handler, instead of SC transition, state machine transition, we'll say custom reactions and we'll just say the event that is coming and leave the reactions name as it is. Okay. Now this will say that if this state receives a lost money event, it has a custom reaction function in it. And we have to define a custom reaction function with a return type as result state machine state chart result function name is react and the event that is being received lost money i say lm i'll say see out um, i received lost money event okay and after doing some actions if you want to transit to another state will say return transit I'll say sad state that's all so basically it's doing the same thing like transiting from one state to another state but it is actually performing some actions we can even discard it I mean we can just say return discard it will be in the same state but here we are transiting from one state to another state so let's see if I'm uh, just sending the event lost money what happens so i'm in a happy state i triggered the event called lost money i received the lost money event what this does is that this transit to sad state and now it says i am in a sad state because i lost money so this is the way we handle custom reactions but just like transition we might there might there is might be a requirement to create multiple event handlers so we can do it by again using MPL list. So I say type def MPL list reactions. And what I will say is that custom reactions for lost money. And let's say I will using a custom reaction for got money. Now I'll need to create two functions. Now let me get rid of this. Two function with one with event called lost money, one with the event called got money. Let me say, ha 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 ha, thanks, I received more money. And in this case, I want to transit to more happy state. Okay, so now let's see if I am, instead of, triggering a event lost money i am triggering a event got money so basically this should get called and it should transfer to more happy state it's in happy state and sorry i am using reaction it, it should be reactions now let me go ahead and run the code now you can see that i am in a happy state this react gets triggered i say haha thanks and then it transit to more happy state so this is the way we can write custom reactions for multiple event in a in a state also it's possible to do a mix and match with custom reaction or custom event handler and normal transition i can just say uh, transition over here for let's say got money as uh, more happy state 
okay in this particular case i don't need this custom reaction function so here i have creating a custom event handler for lost money but in case of caught money i'll just transfer myself to another state let me go ahead and run this code and you can see that it directly get transferred to more happy state but if i trigger the event called lost money the custom event handler should get called and it is called so that's all about life cycle of state machine how to write custom event handler and how to write multiple event handlers in a state so i hope i was able to explain how it works don't you worry about the syntax it's pretty easy once you get used to it so thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe thank you